if you believe in Jesus, Jesus told you heaven is within. He told you what to do. And I've never met a practicing Christian. Honestly, I've never met a practicing Christian. I've never met anybody who claims they're a Christian who's done anything to walk the path of Christ. All they've done is sit there and wait for him to come back and save them when they've never taken the responsibility or, or, or even tried to lift a finger to save themselves. What makes you think you're worthy of salvation if you're just going to let the world turn to hell around you and do the opposite of everything he tells you to do? Yeah, do this and do that, but don't just sit and wait to be saved. And I'll tell you, if Jesus came back now, because everybody's got this idea of how he's going to, you can talk to any Christian what, and say, what's the, what's the return of Christ going to be like? Oh, he's going to do this, he's going to do that. And they'll all tell you a different story. It'll be vaguely the same, but they have this vision of what's going to happen when Christ returns. I tell you, if Christ returned now, he'd probably get attacked, bashed and beaten and killed by Christians because he didn't behave the way their minds thought he would say or do. If, if Christ came back now, he'd be, he'd be killed by Christians. You're not what we expected. It's a single consciousness experiencing itself subjectively and it's currently going through a cleansing and clarification process, spiritual purification, if you want. There'll be Christians out there saying, oh, this is God you're talking about. He can't spiritually purify. He's already pure and divine and we are a Satanist. Or whatever. Yeah, they don't get it. They're believing what's in the book. They're not listening to the words of the Christ that they claim to follow. And like I said, none of them actually follow his path. Oh, I just do this, I've got to pray, I've got to do this, I've got to, I've got to participate in the system, I've got to pay my taxes, I've got to do all these things. But if I go and pray on Sunday, it's okay because there's nothing I can do about it because we're all sinners anyway. What sort of a defeatist freaking attitude is that? And that's not what he told you to do. And he showed you what to do. And it's interesting, you know, he was able to carry out his ministry and do all the things he did, allowed to do it for years, right up until he went into the temple, overturned the tables of the money changers and started to mess with the Jewish bankers, then he was dead within a week. How did he die? Well, he went to court and he refused to play the name game, so Pilate washed his hands of the whole thing and walked out and basically threw him to the crowd. And so Jesus was crucified, he was murdered by the centurions, the police of the day, at the urging of an angry mob. That was it. Jesus was murdered by the police because the mob wanted it to happen. Blame Pilate all you want. You know? And everyone wanted him to do this miraculous stuff. And he told you, yeah, you, you can do it yourself. If everybody does it, everyone changes their perspective and just does the right thing in all that they do, connects with that heaven within them, will change the world in a day. This is what a lot of the Christians don't get. They see all that and they say, oh, that's all very well, but we can't do it because rah, 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 it's got to get bad because then Jesus is going to descend from heaven on a flaming pie and everything's going to be great and all the bad guys are suddenly just going to disappear and we're all going to ascend to heaven. Great plan.